A team of veterinarians from the Dallas Zoo back in North Texas after what they called a remarkable trip to save thousands of flamingos in South Africa. Here's that report. At the Dallas Zoo, a small population of flamingos can expect to live a long life. They're phenomenal birds. They live potentially up to 40 or 60 years. So when a devastating drought a world away threatened hundreds of baby flamingos, Experts from Dallas led a team on a unique mission to save them. Not many people have ever rehabilitated a wild flamingo, and in terms of raising baby flamingos from the egg up to adulthood, that's challenging stuff, but we've, we've done that for decades in American zoos. Harrison Adele and 14 others from Dallas traveled to South Africa on and off all year for the precarious work of feeding and raising baby flamingos while ensuring they don't attach to people. Knowing how much to feed that tiny infant without, uh, without overdoing it is in itself uh, both a science and an art. The key test was in May when Adele helped coordinate the release of the first 49 rehabilitated flamingos into the wild. To take a, an animal that, that we've been working with for months and then to just turn it loose where we have zero control over what it does is nerve-wracking. But at the end of the day, that's, that's also the ultimate reward because that's what we tried to set out to do. He says trackers show the birds are interacting well with adult flamingos. Those 2,000 birds would undoubtedly have died. Um, it's, it's a high-stakes game. They're now thriving, as nature intended, with human help. And that was Diana Zoga reporting there. Coming up.